welcome back. So we got the blue screen. We got the blue screen. Uh, what is this? This is Windows 10. This is on my rig, which is running six 3080 Ti's, and I have received the notorious video TDR failure. Uh, and then you see what failed. The NVIDIA MKM.sys failed. I need to go in and check if the driver was automatically updated for NVIDIA by Windows. And if it has, roll it back because I was using an older version of the driver and everything was running fine. And I was using ethermine.org to run and everything was solid. I did recently switch to two miners. And ever since I switched over to two miners, I have been seeing this memory error, this uh, video and NVIDIA error on Windows pop up more frequently, like every few days, whereas when I was running Ethermine, I have no issues using the same T-Rex settings. So I've got to figure out what has changed. Again, this is very indicative of the memory clock maybe being too high on the video card, and that's really what I see. Sometimes you'll get a blue screen, and that's because you don't have enough virtual memory. I do not think that's the issue because I've allocated enough virtual memory 12 times six, and I pad a few uh, in there for uh, local apps to run, and that should cover it. So now I'm gonna reboot this guy, get it back up, and check my settings, check the driver. I'm gonna go in, so go device manager, I'll show you in a sec, I gotta re reboot this, stand yeah. boot it up, I'm gonna go into device manager, display adapters, and there's my cards. I'm just gonna pick one, properties, and driver. And, oh, okay. It looks like the driver is good. So this is the driver I've been using. So I'm gonna keep this driver and not mess with it. What this is telling is my T-Rex. Maybe my settings need slightly tweaked. And what I may do is, I might, I'll have to check the memory clock. Let's see, I'm gonna to go to my overclock settings. Over here, I got 3080 Ti, LHR, 1070 for the memory. T-Rex, I have 1400 for the absolute core clock. Yeah, I'm gonna have to, maybe I will drop the memory down a little bit just to see if that impacts it. So that's how I just pretty much troubleshoot what's going on. I think it's just, if I run on Ethermine, which I might do, I'm gonna run this back on Ethermine pool with the same settings and it's probably not gonna give me a blue screen for a while. And I just think maybe you go to different pools and it's trying to do more work and maybe it just can't handle it. That's my guess. Again, I'm pretty, Pretty newbie yet on this stuff, just trying to figure it out, but I know it's gotta be related to those two settings. And I'm trying to figure out which one to maybe tweak down. And I'll go for there. I think the next step is hmm, memory clock. Let's lower that a little bit. So I decided to go do some interweb searching to see what others have come up with with this uh, blue screen. So basically here's one, it's, a, it's on the NVIDIA site. This is an older one. It is a BSOD error video TDR failure. That's exactly it. That's what I received. Uh, he swapped out his video card and he's still having a problem. People are going down recommending to clean your PC. Nah, uh, safe mode, maybe install, reinstall. The drivers or update it in device manager. That may be something to try. And uh, this guy's saying it was a hardware issue. Eventually what uh, he did was change his motherboard as appeared to be faulty. Now it's fine. He's telling you this, the video TDR failure may have nothing to do with drivers or overheat or even the graphics card itself. It may be hardware failure of another, of another device like the motherboard in his case. So if you tried anything, maybe you fall into the same category as me and you have to replace some hardware. I hope that's not the case. I'm gonna run it with my same settings back on Ethermine and see how many days it goes 
before I get the uh, before I get this error. The BSOD blue screen of death. So what is TDR? TDR or Timeout Detection and Recover is a Windows OS feature that monitors your graphics card behavior so as to detect potential problems. Should the tool detect any problems, it will automatically reset the card. Okay. Failures and all that stuff. There's the delay. So that's what the TDR actually stands for. Um, yeah. So I'm going to run it, like I said, back on Ethermine and see if I still get it. Because I don't think I've seen this until I switch pools to two miners. I don't know why. Maybe it's making it do more work. Maybe I'm getting better hits on that pool. I have no idea. Uh, yeah. So that's what I got. I'm out.